Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death. Carlos de Silva still has a bone to pick. We have upgraded our weapon niche last time. We've also upgraded our spells. And now I want to see if we can tackle uh, BFB, uh, Bleak Falls Barrow. This, uh, that is typically fantastic XP and is a good indication for whether or not we're ready to go for the more difficult encounters in the Thieves Guild quest which are about to follow. So today is Undead Encounter Day, something that this build tendentially isn't as great at. I used my very limited ability of enchanting to enchant the Silver Dagger uh, with a bit of fire damage. Granted, there is absolutely zero ability of enchanting, but this is as good as it gets. And that's, that must be enough for today's episode. Brewed a couple of potions, and now we're off to killing some bandits first, and then we're going into the dungeon. So, first things first. Let's start sneaking in. <clears throat> Just regenerating some magicka already. With our improved sneak ability, we're actually doing relatively well. Time for the dagger and our muffled boots, which is even better. They can't hear us, they can't see us. can't see us. You puny Time to get close and personal. Unfortunately I ran right into that uh, power attack. general idea was good, the execution was poor because his power tank was just hitting us as we are as we were moving in. Alright, let's hope <coughs> that that's not a herald of what is to come. Rebuffing and uh, let's go in. Good. Time. To this time, kill the archer right away. Oh, by the way, I forgot. I detracted a thousand gold pieces and finally decided upon the type of shout that I would like to take. So we have actually trained the shout and I wanted to share that with you. How could I have forgotten that in the intro? This is our shout. Aura Whisper gives us the ability to see creatures through walls, <clears throat> which will be great because it will create a radar for us. I'll 
show you the shout again in a second. Underutilized uh, shout, but I figured it fits the assassin build. Uh, you need to first see where the enemies are to then perceive them. Alright, invisibility. I wonder, it's a good test to see if the shout can be used whilst in the mode. The answer is no, it cannot. But it very much allows for a vision through the wall. Which will be great in uh, estates or any other locations where we are fighting against a lot of enemies at the same time. That's a decent skill book as well. Spiders haven't even seen us before we were almost all the way there. So, how about we're using that? Eh, you wouldn't have any advantages. Okay, the poison definitely triggers nicely. Nestle is so good. Alright, small rebuff. And then let's wait out the poison. Sorry, Evro, but I know you would have betrayed us. Okay, from here on on, onwards, um, there are no living, but only dead. Or rather, undead. So Nessa Bane has to go, and we're taking another dagger in its stead. Silent movement at least allows us to approach the drogers without without getting detected. However, our low damage, on the other hand. It doesn't necessarily help our case.
first observation, our damage is shit against them. So let's hope that we can power attack. Second observation, hibernating touch might actually be quite useful. Third observation, they hit like a truck. Wow. Okay. So, lesson here, just don't get hit. And although they are hibernating, it's not officially as if we would be backstabbing them. We just get a couple of hits off and that's it. Okay, well, I've had harder times clearing it. I have had easier times. It's not going to be the most fun experience to slaughter through all of them. Specifically since our DPS really isn't that good. be a problem. Damn it, forgot about the first stroker. Okay, that could be a problem. We're not having the DPS to really get them down. And they can, uh, can't be put to sleep. Yeah, that's pro uh, that's going to be a problem. Let's hope we're not getting too many of them. This is the first shouter droger. Nicely disarmed us. So we're going to need to find the weapon in a second. that reduces our problems to only one. <laughs> okay. The other one is awaking, that's not good. We need to control them. Silver arrows and...
I missed that one. Stupid me. Makes it a bit easier. Now, time to search for our weapon. Well, that's going to be fun. There's the silver dagger. So we're back in business, back to step number one. After power take, there is a short moment in time where I can't move. So it's not me being stupid and standing there. It's just can't move right afterwards. being stupid trying to backstep uh, the drawer. that <laughs> they are highly poison resistant as well <clears throat> so this one here isn't going to do a hell lot. Yeah, I'm still bound to just stand there whenever my power attack finishes, which is really unfortunate. I suppose we're back to single hits most of the time.
Okay, I think small rebirth might make sense. Draugr still doesn't know that we're here. So it's just not. I sh just should stay away from the power attack. Unless they are just about to awake. Don't have the increased anatomy yet, so can't really power. Um, sneak attack drogers. Was trying to set them aflame, paid with a lot of life for that. Can't put him to sleep, unfortunately. I'm frying from a tempo perspective against the mace wielding ones. They are too slow to punish my power attack. Power attack is hitting for 110 against them and the normal attack only for like 20-ish. Okay, so this guy died in the fire. Different strategy against the dual handed ones. For them, it seems better if I just do small attacks, four in a row, they can't block. time. Yes. <sighs> Only until the point where I get greedy once again. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, fantastic. So far the run just really goes according to expectations. The damage potentially is a little bit lower than uh, what I would have expected. for a kill move, but that didn't happen. Alright, let me heal up and uh, then we're going for area number two. Alright, this is the part which is potentially a little bit more difficult. Zero damage. Holy moly. Should have had a second. Uh, a second. Silver dagger, maybe. get stuck to the wall. A close-up dance with the drawers. I was asking for it. This frost potion is not the worst. <clears throat> we can use that later in the dungeon against the frost drogers. Now that's the part uh, which is potentially going to be a bit more iffy. have two scrolls of fireball. <coughs> Might as well use them. And 
our food is running out. <coughs> These guys take almost no damage <clears throat> and I should get my range fixed because that was a solid miss. At least they are taking damage here. Careful with the stairs, we don't want to have long fights on the stairs. really shows here. Alright, couple down, so many more to go. I was I was doing so well good in the rhythm until that stupid mistake happened I would like well we have zero good uh, zero appropriate arrows left
need to deal with the shouting Draugr. Shout. Solved. One more sh shouting Draugr down. I think we got one more fireball. Which I would want to use back there if possible. Seven points of damage. Nothing to write home about, really. Okay, no, we can't. We can't trade blows with him. This guy is a problem. I don't really have any good counterplay here. coming all right bring it on buddy can't take hits like that He's fast. Another shot. He has almost zero recovery time from his hits. Yep, which is why. can almost attack as fast as I do. Alright, sucks guys, but I think I'm running out of healing options here. I will need to go back to town. I hate to do it, but I want to play this dungeon safe. I'll be back. Okay, back. <clears throat> that was unfortunate. I was running out of time in real life and out of healing resources in the game. And that's never a good place in a dead is dead run uh, to be at. You want to play calm, collected, and without any time pressure. Good. A few more drogers left, really. Ah, 
Unfortunately, not no sneak attack damage for this guy. All right, come here, buddy. Well, his friend seems to be willing to tangle. Stayed in for too long. <sighs> wow, this is exhausting to go through so many hits just kill a drogger we need to upgrade our one-handed weapon not the weapon that we're wielding i actually want to continue in a dagger play uh, play through but we definitely need to upgrade just the damage that we're dealing and i'm continuing to be staggered after the power attack this is just Really disheartening. I need to have the patience to just let these guys attack. Get in two hits and that's about it. This time I managed to get away in time. Just to get nicely stuck on that little stone there. Almost there. Didn't get any silver arrows, did I? No. We can use fire arrows. Better than nothing. Good, I call that a solid hit. Trying to deal as much AoE damage there as possible. It's not much, but it's something. Let me see, I can spot an opportunity here. Looks better on paper than it actually had been. And it seems we do have Frost Stroger. Ah, don't like that at all.
Okay, I brought a couple of burning alls with me. And for the frost stroke, I might even use the trap here. Good. Dangerous one is out of the way. Attacking, power attacking. I'm stuck for about a, a second afterwards. That's enough time to retaliate. I need to find a better way of dealing with that. Never had that problem with any other weapon other than the dagger. Maybe it's the attack animation. But across all of the weapons, you would think that the dagger has the least stagger time after you attack. Shock, ice, elven eye, arrow, fire. That might be the right call here. got only a very limited amount of these left. So I better make this one count. Again, made the mistake of thinking that I could get away with a power attack. Three more. At least the solo pulling works out somewhat. Seems that the burning oil almost has no effect on the damage. I was hoping that fire damage in poison wouldn't be mitigated, but that's not the case. Poison is just mitigated by them, period.
27 points of damage. Unbelievable. We're dealing almost no damage to these guys. Okay, well, could be even worse. We don't want to get hit by him. He's one of those droggers who could one-shot us with a power attack. went through all of the healing potions so that worked out well major destruction not bad more healing potions good Stagger of Devouring, that isn't bad either. Absorb Health is a nice enchantment, I like that a lot. Question that I'm asking myself is are we ready for the big boss? Not really dealing a lot of damage. He's very resistant to everything that we're doing. If he does have a frost breath, well, I'm officially screwed. Yeah, I don't have a cleansing potion either. Uh, that might be one of those tough calls where I need to shortly hit the town yet again. Sucks, but I don't want to ruin the run. Tell you what, we're going to town and then we'll come back. Okay, time for a proper preparation. We got our scroll of Mage Armor 3. And then I brought a couple of other goodies with me. Found that one. So you, my friend, are going to help us. And I got a couple of flame atronux. One which I bought and one which we found. Okay, well, 
That wasn't bad for a start. He indeed has frost breath, and look at that, Flame Atronarch is immediately dead. Unfortunately, even shouted him into oblivion. Well, this one better be good, because I'm running out of scrolls. Alright, bring it on, buddy. Yes, it worked. Yeah, I don't really need that. Good, we got everything that we came here for. Time to finish this episode by also double checking our skills. At least that worked out well. We have quite a few upgrades. So, Illusion 50, that is helpful. I think next up, Dexterity was uh, the biggest grab for us thirty five if I'm not mistaken was a key pivotal point and then we do have one handed we have a few greater points but I'll keep them steady for now Got two perks. Haven't really invested anything into Magicka so far. I think we're okay with that strategy for now. One option is Illusion Upgrade, which I wouldn't mind. The other one could be Dexterity into Precise Strikes. Increases armor penetration and then allows us stagger swing speed. So that definitely would be good. Sneaking, the next big thing would be advanced anatomical lore. That helps us against undeads and against constructs. But frankly speaking, I believe the biggest bang for the buck immediately would be that here and that here that's already armor penetration and just straight up normal damage with one-handed weapons let's get one-handed weapons to 50 next that's another perk here and then this here might be a thing. We're actually pretty much okay on the stamina. Maybe I'm just perking health for now. But yeah, I could see evasion. One more point in one handed and potentially, to be honest, gotta bite the bullet and just go into precise strikes and knife dancer. It isn't incredibly deep in terms of using a lot of skills in the dexterity tree, but it would be four perks and we might as well do that earlier than later. So it's one more perk in one handed and then four perks in dexterity then the basis of the build should be covered and eventually when we're reaching 
75 in sneak we would get advanced anatomical lore yep that's the build plan for now plus one in illusion which already uh, would uh, mean we are almost up to level 20 at that point cool if you possess an advanced anatomical lore then you should know the anatomy of a like button is it needs to be squeezed and pressed in order to put the thumbs up just saying you might want to apply some of your anatomical knowledge and see you in the next episode bye bye